are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. And suddenly, just like that, after nearly two months of rain and one of the worst springs on record, summer arrived. The air became warm, seemingly overnight, the skies brightened and the birds sang. We spent the morning in the garden, pottering, cleaning, weeding and soaking in that beautiful warmth. When I started this YouTube channel, my aim was to show people that there was more to Positano than just the main beach and the shopping area. I wanted to highlight other areas of the town and the coastline and tried to give you an idea of what it was like to live in such a place. Quickly I realised that many of you were actually interested in how we live our lives here, growing food in our garden, coping with the numerous steps, and well, just what we generally get up to. At first I thought this was strange. Who cares about me and my life here? I'm not interesting. What is there to show? But then I took a closer look at what I enjoyed watching on YouTube, and sure enough, it was other people's lives that I found interesting especially people who live different lives from ours in faraway places. Portugal, Japan, China, Hawaii, and on the seas. It's fascinating to see the similarities and differences in how people live. Sometimes I think how strange and ridiculous it is that I'm filming myself hanging out the washing or cooking lunch. It seems self-centered, insignificant, and even childish, but then, I might read a comment or go and get stopped on the street and told how much our videos help somebody through a rough patch, an illness or a death, and it all seems worth it. Not funny. <laughs> no, I didn't throw it in the toilet. It jumped. <laughs> and I remind myself that this is just escapism. That's what I'm providing. 20 odd minutes of escape from the norm, immersion into someone else's life and a break from the routine. Dare I say it makes you feel relaxed, inspired and a little bit more positive. Today, we're inviting you to spend the day with us, a completely normal Wednesday. We have no work commitments and the weather is good, so we might just go out for lunch. Of course, every morning we take the dogs out for a walk. Last autumn, Carlo cleared a pathway through the ancient olive groves on our neighbour's property. We are so grateful to have this piece of mountainside to walk on. 
It saves walking up 500 steps to the road and it also means the dogs can run free and get the exercise they need. It is a beautiful walk with breathtaking views along the way and in the evening I often come back a second time and I find somewhere to sit and just watch the sunset and the boats coming back from the day trips. Ogni tanto penso quante volte potete vedere una stessa scena dello stesso posto e poi penso io non mi scoccio di vederlo tutti i giorni e voi solo qualche volta? Penso che vi piacerà sempre. Finally, the rain seems to have stopped, we think. We've had a couple of days. No, actually, yesterday was great until about four o'clock in the afternoon when it absolutely poured. And today has been wonderful. India is currently on lizard duty. And Carlo is currently on strawberry duty. Those are the good ones. And these are the bad ones, ruined by weeks and weeks of rain. Where is it? Okay. What are you doing? Everybody else has got a job. So unfortunately, many of the strawberries have not managed to survive the huge amounts of rain that we've had and we're having to do a strawberry cull. <laughs> sì. Praticamente queste sono marce. Troppo pioggia. And this plum tree behind us here, all of the plums seem to be dropping off it uh, and they're not ripe, so I think we won't have many plums this year either. And that's the consequences of the bad weather that we've had. Andy! <laughs> okay, anche tu? Che vuoi? Volevo dire che non ci stiamo lamentando perché qua ha piovuto, purtroppo in altre zone d'Italia eh, per gli allagamenti ci sono stati anche dei morti, quindi eh, facciamo una preghiera a loro che insomma cercheranno di tirarsi su e fare in modo che questo sia solo un brutto ricordo. We do get asked every now and again why we don't mention things like wars and um, tragedies that have happened in the world and maybe things that are happening in Italy like um, Etna erupting or the floods in North Italy recently. We are very aware of what is happening and we have decided, like we did with COVID, to not bring it into our videos because we are very, very aware that many of you come to us um, for an escape from the daily life and the news and everything that we all are aware of what's going on and like to come and watch us and have a little break from it all and an escape from your reality into our reality and we don't want to bring that side of things into our videos also it means that if somebody's watching our videos like three months or three years later it's sort of timeless so that anybody can enjoy it at any time so just be aware that we know what's going on we are very sympathetic to any troubles and we just tend to keep that out of these little videos of ours don't squash the strawberries <laughs> Diciamo che non è che non ne vogliamo parlare perché non ci interessa, perché non siamo dispiaciuti o perché non teniamo a cuore 
la sofferenza di queste persone. Non ne parliamo perché ci sono già troppe mainstream uh, telegiornali che parlano di queste cose tutti i giorni e quindi non vogliamo essere un più di quello. Sì. Questo mi va, dai. Finalmente ho trovato qualcuno che mi va. Questi sono tutti stretti. Adesso sono quasi pronto per andare a mare. È un po' rotto qua, ma cosa importa, Niki? Alla fine va bene anche così, no? Questo sono io. Vestiti vecchi, tutti rotti. No, non c'è problema con me. Lo dico per quelle persone che sono nuove sul canale, uh, potrebbe sembrare strano che dico andiamo a mare, andiamo in spiaggia e poi vado verso l'alto, verso l'alto ci sono le montagne, il mare invece sta verso giù ovviamente. Quindi che cosa devo dire? Devo dire che vado su per prendere il motorino per poi scendere giù e poi quando stasera avremo fatto la nostra giornata e saremo stanchi possiamo prendere il motorino e risalire e poi ancora riscendere per tornare a casa. La nostra vita è questa ragazzi, andiamo su, andiamo giù, andiamo su e giù, in continuazione. Oggi è anche finalmente arrivato il mio drone dalla riparazione, e eh sì, non ve l'ho detto, ma ho crashato il mio drone in un albero. Magari vi faccio vedere la clip. E quindi è arrivato, adesso finalmente posso andare a prenderlo e vedere se tutto va bene, se funziona ancora, ovviamente sì perché è stato riparato, non è stata una grande riparazione, mi è costato solo 100 euro, però è stato via una ventina di giorni, quindi è stata dura, 20 giorni senza drone, vabbè che ho usato l'altro che avevo, però non è allo stesso livello. Ecco qua il mio pacco, no non è questo, questo è Amazon, eccolo qua! E io sei in passaggio, il marito!
This is wonderful. We did not think we were going to get to do this in May this year, but we've had two days with no rain so far, and currently there's no ferries either, so it's much quieter than it usually is, because none of the ferries are coming in and offloading thousands of people. So today was the perfect day to finish all our little jobs at home and come and have lunch at the beach. And here we are, and we're going to enjoy it to the max. Finalmente l'estate, io amo l'estate e specialmente in estate il mare, il sole caldo mi fa venire in mente memorie, memorie della giovinezza di quando ero bambino, sono le migliori memorie. Some things here never change. The beach in the summer with the stripy sun lounges and the stripy umbrellas, it's the same every year and it's been like this for a long time. I can remember when I was younger, when I was not even a teenager coming here and for me the, the taste of summer was Fanta and tuna and mozzarella sandwiches with big slices of tomato sitting on the beach on one of these sun lounges and it brings back so many memories. Le mie memorie sono per lo più stare con gli amici e guardare per, per le ragazze in costume <laughs> poi. This is one of the only times you'll see me with a coffee of any sort. Um, sometimes I'll have a decaf cappuccino. This is a crema di caffè. It is a whipped coffee. So it's been whipped and whipped and whipped until it's basically full of air. It's really good. It tastes like a McDonald's milkshake. I only had about half of that cream coffee thing and I feel horrible now. I'm so glad I didn't have the other half and I won't be having one again. <laughs> I can't handle caffeine at all. I want to go have a swim. Okay. Let's go to the end of the beach. Please don't think that this is a daily occurrence for us. We don't come to the beach every day at all. In fact, last year I only managed to get down here for lunch once or twice. But today, after all that rain, we were craving a day out, sun on our faces, fresh sea air and some contact with other people. While Carlo swam, then dried on a hot rock, I sat on the warm stones and read for a while, until we saw Luciano coming back to his beach cabin. If you've ever had a wander to the end of Fornello Beach, you might have noticed the tiny little beach shack at the very, very end of the beach here. Um, Luciana said I can show you around. So let's go and have a look inside because it is stunning. I'm going to go to the 
it is that time of day that all the boats are coming back from their day trips and let's go and see how they are coping with the jetty closed at the moment. Where are they getting the people off the boats? So not last winter, but the winter before, the jetty was pretty much destroyed by really rough seas in the winter. This has happened quite regularly over the last 30, 40 years or so, and they never managed to fix it well enough so that it is solid. So at the moment, the jetty is closed while they're desperately trying to repair it so that the boats can come and dock. So for the next few days, there's no ferries at all. That's why it's been quiet today um, on the beach and just around town, there's much less people. I think I've already said that. Mm. But yeah, this is the work that they're doing. And over there is the fabulous pier that they have made so that the boats can dock onto the beach. So this big one here is private, so nobody's allowed to use that apart from the company. So everybody else is having to use this. So rather than the bigger boats coming in to this tiny little pier, they're offloading people onto these small boats like this so that they can easily come into shore. Yeah, so there they're transferring people from the bigger boat onto the little taxi boat. It always feels wonderful returning home after a day at the beach. The hustle and bustle of town is replaced by a calm, peacefulness and happiness for a day well spent. It's strange, but 16 years after losing my mother, when I get home from a long day out, I still get the urge to call her and chat, tell her how my day went and ask how was hers. Instead, I get on with all the chores that need to be done and plan what to make for dinner. Luca has just harvested a load of fava beans and there are also fresh peas ready to be picked. I think tonight I will make a zuppa, a thick soup of beans and peas to eat with toasted sourdough and drizzled with olive oil and parmesan cheese. Buongiorno Luca. Qui sì, Carlo, buongiorno. Che fai Luca? Niente, sto legando i pomodori, faccio crescere la pianta in altezza e sto togliendo tutte le piantine laterali. Vediamo le femminelle. Stai togliendo le femminelle? Che significa stai togliendo le femminelle? Fammi vedere, ora sono curioso. E sono queste parti qua. In pratica deve salire solo il fusto principale verso l'altro e tutti gli altri tipo questo qua guarda così grande io lo tolgo vedi ah questo è quello che togli questo viene legato e qua ci vengono i pomodori questi sono i fiori questo è un'altra femminella qua vedi allora lo va questi sono tutte pomodoro tipo sorvento quelli là grandi da fare 
pomodoro e mozzarella mm, la caprese la sa caprese classica della penisola sorrentina amalfitana mentre noi invece che, che ne facciamo di questi pomodori? No, eh, io mi mangio un sacco di pomodoro e mozzarella però faccio anche il sugo con questo pomodoro quindi faccio pelati, sugo di pomodoro e mi faccio le caprese con la mozzarella dei monti lattari Sì, 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 guardateci, mi date anche gli amici così. 